Hello, hello, Rick here, and we're fixing to do a bike build with the trailer. It's my project that I'm going to create from a $40 bicycle and a $300 motor kit that I'm going to put together. This is the unboxing, and what you want to do is keep in touch or save this or subscribe because I want to show you every piece of the operation and how it goes together and what is involved and it's going to take a lot more time by filming it all or videoing it but uh, that's okay because I got a chain guard here on the ground that's the first piece then I've got my clutch sprocket drive here that will uh, transition uh, my clutch and gear to the rear tire so I wanted that system instead of just a chain coming off the of a, of a clutch by itself this is like a torque converter so-called uh, transmission that's going to help the power i believe and it's the first time i've used one but uh, we're going to try it out and it's not a belt drive like i wanted but they don't offer that uh, for anything like this uh, you can get one that is a belt drive but it's like two hundred dollars by itself so uh, i'm just going to get this kit going gasbike.net is the place where I got this this is the 79 cc predator that you can get from Harbor Freight in fact uh, I did that I got a 79 cc predator from Harbor Freight and then realized that I, I would need the kit the sprockets the clutch the gas tank all this stuff and uh, by that time I'd be into it for more than it would cost to actually just buy the kit so yeah buying the kit is expensive because it's money all up front uh, for most people but uh, 300 bucks and a $40 bike is pretty cheap uh, this one's gonna have a trailer so it'll be a pretty cool little rig it'll all be custom painted and uh, you'll see me tear this thing down once we built it so that I can uh, revamp the body and get her done up so we've got some pieces here we got the uh, angle bend for the exhaust so that it'll take off in the right direction and stay out of our way we got the chain we've got the gas cap and uh, we've got some other parts here the throttle uh, assembly you got the handle grips coming the uh, that's the air filter for the carburetor so it's like a little performance air filter and hopefully it'll turn itself out of the way otherwise uh, your legs will hit that there's the handle grips with the throttle assembly and uh, basically I wanted to do this from start to finish to show that uh, anybody can do this basically and even though I'm not a bike builder motorized bike builder per se I am a car restoration expert and so I've done some classic car restorations in fact you'll see a 1970 Mustang Mach 1 that I've built uh, from the uh, rusted rusted down pieces that I purchased and uh, basically even a rust bucket that's 50 years old a classic car like a Mustang uh, will cost you five to ten grand depending on uh, how bad it is or how good it is so there's the clutch we'll be needing that'll go on to the assembly with the other gear set there that'll uh, actually go on the engine shaft and basically this is a first time for me to use a transmission so to speak on a bike so it'll be interesting and uh, we'll definitely do some time lapse video in the future which will show that going together and there's the platform for the engine and as well as the clamps and you can actually just take a quarter inch plate and weld it to the bike uh, which I've done in the past and that uh, works good and but what I want to do on this is take some quarter inch rubber and put around there to where it'll help uh, the vibration because these things these engines aren't the best in the world they'll vibrate your hands off the grips if you know what I mean because they're not uh, internal internally blueprinted or balanced or anything like that i mean it's a throwaway engine and uh even the people that do mods on it are just spending more money than uh, they should because they're not going to hold up you can't modify make something go faster that's not designed to go faster it won't hold up over time so here's the motor and it's in a little 
plastic bag, of course, which is great, but the thing about it is it wasn't protected from the rest of the stuff on top that was bouncing around there, whatever was on the top of the box. I mean, whoops, there went the bike. Uh, no worries. Uh, it fell on its handlebars and uh, <laughs> pedals and the tires. Uh, this is scraped up pretty good because uh, it shouldn't be that way. And even though I'm not using these parts, it's poor shipping is what it is. And uh, Gas Bike will hear about that from me because I give them the feedback so that they can better uh, support their website as well as their customer and clientele base. Uh, you're not going to have a lot of customers if you send them crap or something that's totally screwed up but also the gas throttle linkage there is not coming back it may be that they've had that tank off or something and put it back on and something's catching but it's no big deal it comes with that little flimsy uh, mount that's supposed to help you uh, mount it to the other plate i think so that you don't have to uh, worry about the uh, can't bolt it from underneath maybe or something uh, if you didn't have that on there we'll have to see but there's the directions I'll never open those uh, don't need them as a classic car restoration person I can just about see what I need to do on this and put it together without instruction and uh, uh, there's no instructions on re restoring a 1970 Mustang so uh, you depend on YouTube and groups that uh, have other members that do this uh, as a hobby and you get a lot of information on the internet of course and that's where I'll find anything that I need for this build here and uh, but what's going to be cool about this be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you can see the next one because the next one is going to show me uh, progressing through this project and actually building this customized bike motorized bike with trailer all right guys thank you